Can I help you guys? Are you gonna cook? Can no. Record? Is this good? Are you recording? They want mac and cheese. Hey friends, welcome to the video. This is Derek. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be watching me make and try out protein mac and cheese. Yes, I saw it and I just had to get it. So that is what we're gonna be doing in this video. And we're also gonna be seeing a little montage of me working out. But before we go further down, I wanted to share a quick Bible verse just to leave a word of encouragement to whoever's watching this right now. And it is found in Psalm 121. And it says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So what that verse is basically saying is, if we're feeling discouraged, if we're feeling down, we can look up and remind ourselves, hey, you know, there's somebody up there looking after me, whether I'm going through a bad day, a hard time, somebody was being mean to me, the Lord is still there, the maker of heaven and earth. So everything around us, God is going to be there always and he is watching you all the time and he loves you, all right? So with that said, we're gonna go and head up onto the video. to cooking time so what I'm gonna be showing you guys here is a super simple easy to make anybody can do this recipe for chicken tenderloins what those are basically is just chicken fingers without breading or anything I'm just gonna be tossing them in this bowl just taking them out here and getting them ready to be seasoned and again it's so simple this is I just got enough here for me and my wife and it lasted us about a day and a half just because we you know we like to overstock on food what i'm doing here is just adding some oil just enough to coat it some salt and we like to season our food here so we like to add salt and pepper and enough pepper and that should be good just kidding we like to season our food like I said so what I'm gonna be doing is adding a little bit of thyme in here thyme little goes a long way Tr press, trust me a little bit of paprika and actually a little more than you think you need now this is called sazon for those who don't know what it is it is really good but again this is packed full of seasoning so just what I like to do is just add half the packet. I think I added a little more than half the packet, but I had about a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins, but it, it tasted really good. Now, here is a lot of garlic powder because I like the taste of garlic. And a super amazing game changer I found out like a few weeks ago is just adding some chicken bouillon to it. This is the only thing I measure out. So here, what I'm going to be doing is adding half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon to the 
pound and a half of chicken tenderloins. And then after all that, that's literally all I put in there and I just started mixing. Now, I'm showing you this, there's no exact measurements other than the chicken bouillon just because when I am cooking, especially when I'm seasoning meat, is I just kind of eyeball it. It depends on what we're going for, if it's Italian, if it's Mexican, if it's whatever, if it's Asian food, whatever it is, I just kind of tweak. I look in the pantry and say, okay, what would taste good for this meal? Because I'm having this with mac and cheese. I decided to just make it just super simple and just whatever I usually the basic standards of the seasonings and I'm just mixing it and I only added enough oil to coat each piece and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm not gonna bake it I'm actually gonna toss it into the air fryer and in there it will be amazing and it's super crispy now here you're just seeing me toss it in the air fryer I just stuff them in there they say you shouldn't but I do and I'm going to be going ahead and putting it in here. And if you don't have an air fryer, you should. You can still do this in the oven at 380 for about 25 minutes, or just keep it 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how strong or intense your thing is. And yeah, that's it. This is uh, what the chicken looks like. It's a little more well done than I wanted, but it's okay. All right, I just finished uh, taking a shower. As you can see, I just made some chicken. In the air fryer, it's a super simple recipe. Uh, it's literally just chicken tenders, but obviously not breaded. And I just wanted to show something super simple that if I'm kind of wanting to make food, but I'm being lazy, I make chicken, throw it in the air fryer, that's it. Uh, my workout was just that little thing that you saw. And today I'm gonna be trying out this thing called Goodles. I saw this at Target and I'm not sponsored by the way, but I wanted to try it out. It does say on the front of it, on both of them, that it is 14 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, and 21 nutrients from plants. So we're gonna find out if it's good. This flavor is Cheddy Mac, and this is Shella Good, aged white cheddar and shells. And obviously this is cheddar cheese. Uh, on the back, it does say, this is huge. If you can see that. Can we zoom in on that? Pretty big. Okay. Pretty big. All right. It says, sure. It looks small, but this nifty little macaroni began with a big idea. To create nutrients, that was cooked, and taste just like a normal delicious noodle. And sour stuff is so tough, there's thousands. Version of layers, take a lot of noodles Okay. Basically, it's just saying that it is good for you, and it it's supposed to taste good. We are going to try that out. Um, and if you guys want to try this out, you can go to Target. That's where I found it. It was like $4.99 per box. So this is my dinner. It better taste good because I hate having dinner that doesn't taste good. So let's go over to the stove and let's start making this. Okay, so here what I'm doing is I have water in a kettle that I put to a boil and I'm just adding enough to cook that small box of pasta. And I'm doing it in two separate pots just to know which pasta is which. That way I'm not messing up or adding too much or trying to separate. I'm just adding a little bit of salt. So this is the shell white cheddar one and the one I'm going to be adding to this big blue beautiful pot is the cheddar one. And here are the directions of how to cook it. If you've ever cooked mac and cheese, I'm pretty sure you don't need to see this, but there it is just in case. Now what I'm adding here is a little bit of vegetable shortening and some unsweetened almond milk. No particular reason why, I just have that in my fridge. Uh, as you can see, I just added a little too much almond milk and you're going to see in a second once I try to mix the cheese powder into the mix that uh, it is way too watery. So I kept mixing and mixing and you can see it's kind of clumping and nothing was pretty much sticking. Eventually, after like 10 extra minutes of boiling it down, it actually got to the right consistency. Okay, here is the finished product. This is the white cheddar and this is the what looks like Kraft mac and cheese. So and this is my chicken. It looks a little crispy, but it's I promise you it's delicious this way. Alright, let's try the yellow one. Bruh. <laughs> try the yellow one. 
pretty good. It doesn't taste like craft. It has like a spice. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's weird. It has yeah. like a weird spice. Um, I gave it a seven out of 10. Yeah. I would buy again. I wouldn't. <laughs> if it was a little cheaper, maybe. Mm -hmm. For 15 gram, 14 grams protein, 15, 14. Pretty good. Okay. All right, let's try the, the shells. Yeah, that one tastes like white cheddar. <gasps> that one's better. I like this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would probably buy the white cheddar over the the craft looking one. I give this one an eight and a half out of ten. It's that good. Okay. Craft is still ten out of ten. Craft is it has my heart. It has our hearts. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. So that was the mac and cheese. It was actually really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Me and my wife ate it really fast. My brother even came and ate what, what else, whatever else was left in the, in the pot. Um, the white cheddar one was my favorite. I would definitely get that one again. Um, the only issue I do have with it is just that it's $5 per box, but if I'm bored or if I just feel like eating that mac and cheese just because I'm craving or whatever, I will go buy it. So I can't really complain about that. But yeah, so that was the mac and cheese. So what I wanted to do to close out this video, what I wanted to do was share a book once a month that I am reading for that specific month. And this month's book that I wanted to share is The Last Supper on the Moon. Now this book, every time I tell people about this book, I'm reading it and it's amazing. They always ask me, well, what is it? What is it about? What does that mean? That sounds so weird. The Last Supper on the Moon. Basically, what this book is pretty much speaking about, the author is Levi Lesko. He also is a pastor. It is basically using the analogy of space travel, and he speaks about space facts, and it's really cool. It actually makes me learn more about the space voyages that NASA had, but it also uses that analogy to compare it with uh, Jesus Christ and his walk on earth and based on the cro when he died on the cross and his resurrection and it also goes into the deep depths of understanding who we are and there's parts that we don't know within ourselves and it's a really interesting book and i highly recommend that you guys give this book a try and something else i want to leave with you guys is a worship song of the week now this song that i'm going to share is called in jesus name God of Possible, and it is by Katie Nicole. This song is basically a prayer, praying for those that you love, praying for those that are around you, that in Jesus' name, they're going to be lifted up, there's gonna be a revival within them, and I highly recommend, if you haven't heard this song on the radio, at any point, you should definitely go listen to this song. It's a beautiful song, and I hope it gives you encouragement, it lifts your, your, you up in times of trouble. I know it did for me, and I just pray I sing this song in prayer over people I love. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and that you do something impactful and that Jesus loves you. All right, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and tune in for the next video that's coming out. All right, hello. Wow. I'm sorry.